Hey everyone, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I was recently just asked through a Discord DM on how I made my visualizer in my Imposter V4 fan song Phony. Now, I did do some research on FNF visualizers, and I think the most prominent one that I found was Tei's tutorial series one. I really wanted to make, like, figure out how some people would have, like, the logo just, like, going with the beat. And so I scrolled through Twitter one day, I ended up looking up, like, FNF visualizer, and I ended up, I did end up seeing it in a comment thread on how somebody did it for a Game Breaker teacher. But when I went to go back to go check it. The account went private, so I did not have access to that thread anymore, but I did take screenshots and I did save photos in the thread for the reason of wanting to learn how to do it properly and get it done. So I applied what I found out and knew into my phony video as well as class trial video. I start things off, we just have a simple beat. It's something I was working on. It's like, it's nothing too serious, nothing too big at all. And it was just something I really wanted to try out for fun. <laughs> So nothing too serious but i thought i could use this project as the one i use to show how to do it or how i would do it or make my visualizers now i don't know the correct terminology for a lot of these things so if i throw some somebody off by saying something that may not make sense then i do apologize but i'm just going off by how i would say it just right just right off the look of the tongue you know i don't have a script for this or any kind of thing so Bear with me. First things first, you go to your master, go to here and you open up one of these slots. You add Z Game Visualizer. Where is it? Right there. I already have it on, so we're just gonna open it. And I already did add in things right off the bat before I started this recording that I can just use. And the first thing I like to do before anything is to set the FPS to 60 or higher. It comes out smooth and because it's default, it's set to 30. My monitor's refresh rate is 144, so I just have it set to 144 on my main monitor. Go add one. It'll. I think it'll always have one ready for you but gotta add one in i always go to image and then we're gonna what i like to do is i always like to start with the background so i do i did just take the gray background from the imposter v4 update just for this example you know big old screen right here and it fills up the entire screen this is a full 19 by 20. i kind of like to turn down the hue a little bit especially if there's a character that i have like i did in phony where it was the pink among us up in alpha the higher the alpha the more away it goes the lower the alpha the more trans less transparent it becomes so keep that in mind set this at a good 75 percent depending on how bright you want this you know whatever i usually just keep it at 75 so this right here this is good now what you can do is you can also add a vignette i do have a vignette and it's perfect now the one thing that i was specifically asked in the dm was about peak lines so what i do is i go find the the U lean peak shapes i like these ones a lot but you get them as a circle not like just the straight lines that i had used in my phony song the main settings that i change are make the polarity 100 percent make it not a full circle but flat therefore if you play the audio <laughs> the effects it gets rid of the bottom part, which is what the polarity does. With its default being in the, in the midway section, it'll peak both on the top and bottom part peak shapes. Now, unless you're having the wavelength be left to right of the middle of the screen, you don't want this. So turn the polarity all the way up and it should make it only go on the top. So make that all the way go up. I like to lower the threshold to make the, so it's not so adamant on just that small area that was already shown. It'll allow more of the master sound be pushed through into the peak shapes. A good 25% is a good idea. We like to keep it. I like to take the bands and I like to set it to a good 10%. <laughs> So instead of them being so small, I'll keep them at a good 10%. Makes them real big. Now, what makes them glow as they were shown in Phony is you go next, you find the Yulene Bloom. Now, this will, of course, override the image as well. So I'm going to fix that by making this a 90%. Actually, let's do it 95. And then, so let's see how it looks by default. Now that looks nice already, but what I, I don't like to have it too much. So I'll turn down the bloom, maybe 25%. Turn down the opacity by 45%. And that there looks great. 
depending on how you like it you know it's all personal preference but this is essentially where i'd want to keep mine and i love the way this looks now it's in the middle of the screen still and we need to get it to the top and bottom of the screen so first things first what i like to do is i like to just size it up once it hits the corners of the screen right here that'll flip the entire screen like it should now if x-axis is left and right y-axis is up and down and the thing is is that you want to be at the bottom and depending on how you're doing it sometimes i do have it underneath or i don't think i've done it like this yet where it's right there at the edge of the frame so therefore it looks a little it looks a bit more cleaner why well, might just take it like this for this video it just looks a lot more cleaner and we love the way this looks let's turn the dot project down just for the sake of this voiceover cool this is great we have it on the bottom of the screen now we want one on the top which is what i personally like to do so what i'll do is i will click this i'll clone the layer and then you know it's an easy rotation we should bring it all the way up and then we take the polarity and turn it all the way down now this works fine but what i personally like to do go down here change the angle and rotate it accordingly all the way so it's reverse so it feels a bit more open on this end as it peaks more on the left side now here while it peaks more on the right side here and it fills up the screen a little bit more without leaving too much open space on the left side of the screen completely. They're polar opposites. We have the background, we have the vignette, we have the peak lines, and we have the bloom. This is perfect so far. Now, for the characters. I did not bring or have a character ready for this yet, so... What we're going to do is we're going to go to images and we are going to use a picture of a McGriddle. Oh yeah, so McGriddle. Size it down a little bit to 90%. You know, it's good enough. And what I like to do is usually have my characters slide in into the scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide the McGriddle off the x-axis by a to 5% so it's off screen completely. It's like right on the edge of the screen. And this is where automation clips coming through. So if you do create automation clip, you go to the project, you will have this automation clip and what I like to do is I like to where everything is on the map on the where everything is I like to take it down kind of out of the way you know so you're yeah everything is, so let's say track 25 while everything's over here like top 15 tracks and what I like to do first is like the guideline how long or at one percent where I want my character to be able to be on the left side or the right side or the middle of the screen let's just do the middle we have it on five percent we're going to test it out where it's, we're gonna test out the waters it's gonna be you know 50 percent now this is where I like to extend this and this goes up to on the top left you'll see it to 50% and I'll do this as it goes as it's it's more of an ease end so if we were to go back to the vegan visualizer it's in the middle of the screen now now what we can do is what I sometimes like to do is turn this extend this so it comes at a bit more slower it comes a bit more cleaner a bit more slower a lot nicer the next more important part is the bouncing the bouncing effects the bouncing effects whatever you want to call it so what we do is we take the size we take the size it is at 90 percent we want it to enlarge and then slow and then slowly find its way back down back to the 90 percent mark what we're going to do is we are going to make this bit easier we're going to mark this space right here this is one whole second this is one section this one bar i think those are called bars i have no idea i don't know anything and we are going to take the create automation clip we're going to go there it's going to put it in this section alone and so we enlarge this this is at 90 percent we're going to take this we're going to do 95 percent let's see how 95 percent looks drag this down so it has that that indent that crease the tension we get like a 35 percent maybe even a 25 percent will work go back in the z game see how it looks well actually first we do that we want to loop it so just drag it shift click shift click and shift click shift click just to test it so we go into z game press play there we go that's perfect and now we got this pound pulsing with the metronome as it matches with the BPM. Now there's so much more that you can do in a project with all the stuff that Z Game Visualizer has to offer. What some people like to do that I've seen a lot used is, let's say, let's clone this layer, just have a new layer in front of it. But I see a lot of people do audio shake. So like, let's focus on the background. Let's get rid of the McGriddle. Let's see. Master, let's just do normal. It'll move with. 
don't move with the, the normal, the mode, the frequency range, or the legacy, whatever mode you set it to. And you can change the amount. Make it more or less intense. Change the speed. You can do all sorts of things with this. Wait, but, you know, it's not something I really do with mine. Like, maybe this will be fine. Like, let's test it out. Like this right here this would be fine you can do that that's another option i see people do and you know it's it's all about personal preference and creativity when it comes to these things and to just have fun with it of course can't forget good old logo good old image just get my little title in there and then what i like to do is i like to have in the bottom left bottom right just usually so this this size it down this size it back up make it very transparent so it doesn't get in the way and you know at the end of the day as it is you have your finished visualizer one more thing i guess i could touch up on actually now that i realized is i like to add flashes in my song as well so you know add another image i just take a full white image you know like a 1920 by 1080 p white just pure white picture that's like a pulsing effect that you'd see i want to add this up into every time i have a symbol be played just like here i would do it there with flashes as once you have it in your timeline make sure it's at 100 percent so it's completely gone, and then we're going to automate right here in the track. Dragon Z game, we're going to turn the alpha up, create automation clip, bring it right down. We're going to automate it this way with another arch. We're going to extend it. So it's a bit slower on its back end transparency. And at the end of the day, when all that's done, it should look like this. essentially a finished visualizer that I would that I use kind of like the one I use in phony comes up real nice comes up real nice and it's I'd say it's pretty quality so I want to thank all of you guys for watching I want to thank the person that DM'd me for allowing me to help you as well as understanding that I wasn't going to initially release any FLPs just in general allowing me to have the idea to make a tutorial on this as it may not be the cleanest but it's also not the sloppiest and i really thought that this could help those are trying to make a visualizer kind of like the one i did i just want to thank all of you guys for watching be sure to like comment subscribe it doesn't hurt to subscribe it's free and you know we're getting more and more we're, we're climbing our way up to 5k being able to reach that would be a lot to me and to just keep growing on from here on out it really mean a lot even though i don't post a lot right now due to school just being really swamped with work so you know it'd be a nice goal to hit and hopefully that this helps as always i'll see you guys in the next video peace